All right, just picked out the fridge for Rosie. Ah, oh, thank you, Salamat. <laughs> we're back at, at MCOR. This is where we got our refrigerator. So we're back again. Yeah. Thanks for watching, man. We appreciate it. So definitely come here if you need your refrigerator, TV, air conditioning, uh, laptop. They have many different things here and good service. But we just got this plugged in. Nice and cold. So this would be uh, Rosie's first refrigerator and freezer. Micah will lead the way. Micah and the goat. Hello. <laughs> Can you guess what's in the box? Chair. <laughs> chair. Maybe. What do, what do you think, July? What's in the box? <laughs> Their mom is getting water, so uh, she'll be surprised when she comes back. I think she's almost finished. So it should fit right beneath the TV. Nice looking fridge. We might need to scoot this over just a tad. July, where should it go? It's, we're just gonna put it right here. It should fit right there. They can always move it later. That sofa's in a good spot. If we put it behind there, the uh, door won't shut. So for right now, we're gonna put it there. Here, sir. That's perfect, yeah. All right, good, that'll slide up right underneath the TV. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> We did ask them, of course, so they kind of knew it was coming, but it is a nice surprise that they're here. Salamat. Thanks, guys. Take care, guys. All right, so they did say wait two hours, let it sit for two hours, and then uh, plug it in for two hours before you put anything in. That's what they said. I'm not sure how much truth it is, but that's what they said. So there's the refrigerator. What do you think? Ah. Wow. Egg. extension wire like ours. Yeah. And you know They make these cords so short. And this is the same thing we had at our house. We had, you can't see right here, but we had to get an extension cord because uh, the cord is so short. Put your eggs in here. Water? Yeah, now you guys can make ice? Nice. You can make your own ice candy? Have you ever made ice candy before? Yes. You have before? Oh. <laughs> do you know how to make ice candy? That'd be fun to do, and then they can put it, they can put it in their fridge. You could sell your own ice candy. <laughs> Credit. If you make, if you make ice candy, I'll, I'll buy ice candy from you. Come <laughs> on. Now you can you can watch a movie and then you can open it. You don't have to go very far to open it and get a beverage. Very close. Open. If you get too hot in here, you, all you gotta do is open the open the door for, for AC. <laughs> So this is this is a welcome uh, like a uh, uh, house welcoming gift 
from the person that bought your land and the house. And the house. So the very original person, if you want to kind of uh, translate a bit, little bit, the person who bought the land and built the house originally. So this is way back in the day that bought the land. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All the way from Canada. Thank you from Canada. Very nice guy. So now... This room is pretty much complete. You got the TV, the fridge, the really comfy sofa. We'll buy ice candy, huh? Yeah. We should make ice candy sometime. and Because uh, it's convenient having a freezer for many different reasons. And a fridge, just because, you know, their food doesn't spoil. Food lasts a lot longer yeah, in the fridge. Ants, bugs, yeah. all those Rosie, different things. Rosie used to put their food inside our app. Mm. So now they have their own, so they don't need to go to our house. Or to go to neighbors to cook there. Yeah, and usually Rosie would put like a full plate of something in there and mm. take it out half empty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a mystery. It's a magic. It's a magic refrigerator. Yeah. You put it in full and it comes out empty. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now she doesn't have to borrow other people's refrigerators, so she can use her own. So this is a huge help. The, the biggest thing I noticed though is uh, ants getting all over food. So now if you put it in there, no more ants. That's like the biggest challenge at our house, yes. as I've noticed. So. Rosie, don't cry. <laughs> 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 thank you. Yeah, thank you guys very much. Thank you. Doing some project out here? What are you doing? You painting? Join <laughs> Is this paint? Oh, is that makeup? <laughs> what is this for? Are you guys doing like a paint project? She's selling. Ah, I'll buy something. What do you have for sale? I, I really need a spoon. How much for this? Pila. Pila, <laughs> uh, I'll come back. Do you do credit? Do you do credit? <laughs> yes, credit? <laughs> Pila, for this. Pila. Ten. Ten? <laughs> I, I, like, I like your little store. Raymond is testing the first bike we're trying. If he likes it, we'll get this one, but we may look at another one. They're asking 25 right now. It's a Wave R 100. All right, guys. So we're pretty. We're finalizing things right now. We're still waiting on uh, a few uh, paperwork's and another key. So tomorrow we'll pay. But the nice gentleman is letting him take it home tonight, and then we will pay tomorrow. So there you go. Thank you, David. Thank you, David. <laughs> and actually, Raymond is working here, so it's nice that uh, he knows the people here. So they do know him and trust him. So that's that's good. And it's a good bike. He's a mechanic. And the mechanic, he said that if he has any problems, he can bring it back here yeah. and fix. So I think it's a good, I feel good about this purchase. So thank you, David, very, very thank much. You, thank you. Thank you. So, Raymond, happy? <laughs> All right. Very happy. <laughs> so, good, good group of people here. If you guys ever want to buy anything like motorcycle wise, come to Ever Race. All right, Ever Race Motorcycle Parts Center. This is right in Lower Mediante, Toledo City. Have you ever had a bike before, like all paid for? We do. You can translate for me. Never done. Never done. Never 
Uh, so nice. So first time. This is the first time because this of the So this bike is 100% yours. Nobody can take it away from you. It's yours. <laughs> That's awesome, bro. <laughs> yes, David, you're a lifesaver. That's so cool. All right, so these nice guys out here are showing me their YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, for out. sure. And it's it's like biking, mountain climbing, yes. different things. And what's biking. the names? You guys can show me if anybody is interested in biking or mountain biking. Yeah. I'll, I'll see yours first. Is the name? But here, I'll show an example. So it's like this is him, and this is in Balamban. Yes, this is each. So if you guys want to see the real thing, you can check out his YouTube channel. Do you have it? Uh, Maybe uh, show your YouTube channel. Okay. Here it is, Jess Nash. Yes, Jess Nash. So there it is, guys. Did you see the you followers, see my followers? Ah, uh, 227. Let's, so let's see. 200. That, so let's see if uh, tomorrow, or that, when you guys see the video, if it'll go up. It's very far from, from you, from your subscriber. Uh, we all got to start somewhere, though, but 227 is good. So let's see if tomorrow, when the video posts, if it'll go up. Oh, so we'll I see. We'll, so. we'll see tomorrow. <laughs> And what about you? You have yeah. one too, right? Yes, man. I am in Tingbutigol TV and making random videos. Oh, nice. Uh, about travel, hiking, and hiking adventures, yeah. So here it is. And you guys, oh, there's a clear shot. Yeah. And sorry, a, a, a car went by. What was it about? What's your channel about? It's uh, about uh, making random videos about uh, travels. Travel, cycling, cool. Uh, so cycling hiking too. Hiking adventures. Nice, yeah. fun, fun. Yeah, travel about Japan. Oh, cool. So you spend some of your time in Japan? Yeah, most of the time because my family are there. All your family is there, okay. When are you going back to Japan? Maybe around... If I'm not going to work, because I'm a seaman, I'm a shipper. Okay. So if I'm not going to my work and going to Japan with my family. Alright. So that's my plan for... Do you spend year. most of your time in Japan? Yeah. Other than here, yeah. For now. For now. Yeah, not for good. Not for good. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cool. So two YouTube channels. If you guys want to check out. We are, we are brothers. So brothers by blood or brothers by marriage? Uh, blood, blood. By blood. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I can see the resemblance now. <laughs> All right. Cool. <laughs> we are both seafarers. Both what? Seafarers. Seafarers? Yeah. yeah seamen. Oh, seamen. Yeah. Cool. Do you both work on the same ship? No. no. Different have company. You, have you all, so you never worked on the same ship before? No, no. Uh, because we are now a different company. Different company? Yeah. Like rivals? Do you compete against each other? Uh, no, because it's different type of ships. Uh, so I'm uh, riding on a tanker vessels. Tanker vessels, okay. Yeah, and and then, uh, I'm a row of ships. What is it? Row, row, row ships. Yeah. Like what is that? Uh, you can carry uh, cars. Ah, okay. All right. Years. Okay. Yeah. So where do they usually go? Like, what's the destination? Uh, worldwide. All worldwide. Wow. Yeah. What's the longest ship you've ever been on? Well, it's uh, around 274 meters, the longest one. Like how many? Like days wise or hours? Uh, the, the travel. Yeah. Yeah, it's around 44 days. How many? 44. 44 days. 44 days. Yeah, my longest one. And how? The question you asked the first one. How long are the ships? Like how big? Yeah, how big? It's uh, 274. Uh, 274 meters. Wow, those are big ships. Very long. That's a long time to be on the water. Do you ever get seasickness? Ah, uh, yes, of course. Uh, at first. Do you have to take medicine, or do you? No. Do you just deal with the sickness? Yeah. Is it pretty bad, like vomiting? Yeah. Yeah. It comes out every time. What about you? You too. You too. Do you, Do you get seasickness? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Very heavy weather. What do you do to calm it down? Just relax and then uh, yeah. just washing my face yeah. to, to refresh it again. Have you had it? I bet you have some scare. Have you ever had scary moments while on water? Yeah. Like what's the scariest? Well, when we were at uh, approaching at the Portland, Portland, Maine. When we were oh, approaching, yeah. In Maine? Yeah. In oh, Maine. cool. And then we encountered the uh, blizzard. So that, was that your first time seeing snow? <laughs> no, no, it's not the first time, but it was the worst one. It was the worst time. <laughs> <laughs> you always remember your first time and your worst time. Yes. <laughs> How, blizzards are pretty bad, especially around Maine area. They get pretty bad yeah. on the East Coast. And also, uh, three days before arrival in Philadelphia, it's uh, a lack of uh, triangle. 
Bermuda Triangle. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's straight east. Was that a blizzard or just heavy storms? It's a storm. Wow. Uh, around uh, 15 meters uh, waves. Wow. <laughs> when you're on the boat, does it like rock? Yeah. Like like crazy rolling, huge yeah, waves rolling? rolling? Yeah. That's crazy, man. You got you to gotta be a certain type of person to deal with that. How many years have you been doing it? Oh, I've been uh, doing it uh, 20 years now. 20 years, wow. I started at the age of uh, 19. 19, so right out of high school pretty much. Wow. After college. Uh, right after college. Right after so, college. So 19 you finished college. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I, luckily, I got on board directly and then someone helped me too. And then, is that something you always wanted to do? <laughs> like, is that something you always planned on doing? No. It just kind of happened? Yeah, it just kind of yeah. happened, yeah. Like, when you're 15 years old, did you know you were going to be a seaman or um, not, not yet? No, it just comes up. <laughs> yeah, like, pretty much when you're 19 years old, like, okay, maybe I'll be a seaman. After graduated at high school, in high school, and then we just decided to become a sailor or seaman. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> I can feel it from here. <laughs> She's all smiles right now. <laughs> all right, here's the first drive. I'll see you guys soon. I'll come by. <laughs> Thank you, David. It's kind of dark right now, but they're very appreciative and happy. Here's the whole family. They're very happy with the bike. Thank you.